Good afternoon, Miss Juliet. Good afternoon, ma. Okay, Miss Juliet, can you tell me about yourself? I introduce to you myself, ma'am. I'm Janet Madaya. 35 years old. I am a married. I am four years old child. Uh, first, uh, my first child, a uh, boy. He is, 13, he is 14 years old and the second, 11 years old. He is a girl. Then the third, uh, he is a boy, 8 years old. And my youngest child, she is a girl, seven years old. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work as a maid uh, because I want to learn money for my family and for my future of my child. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? I choose Malaysia uh, because so very, uh, very nice and I, uh, I want to learn your culture and I speak it. How are you qualified for this job? I'm hard working. May I know what is your education level is? High school graduate now. What is your recent working experience? Half maybe. Have you worked abroad before? Yes ma'am. Can you please tell the place and how many months or years you worked for? Uh, Saudi Arabia, ma, uh, Saudi Arabia country and only seven months I worked here. Okay, do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. And whose baby you are taking care of? And my own baby, ma'am. What about elder people? Do you have experience taking care of an elder? Okay, and whose elder you are taking care of, Miss Juliet? My grandma. How old is your grandfather? Sixty-five years old, ma'am. I'm sorry, your grandmother. How old? Sixty-five years old, ma'am. Sixty-five years old. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me the special skills that you have? I don't. I don't need clothes and washing. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am, and Arabian food, ma'am. Okay, so can you please tell me the Arabic, the Arabic food that you can cook? Okay, what about uh, Filipino food that you can cook? Okay, are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores or household work, such as washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Uh, washing, ma'am, ironing, and clean house. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My husband, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, you are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, you are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will turn back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, if ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you're not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you're not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two oh, years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics or your attitude? Uh, I'm hardworking and I'm honest. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? I will do my best, ma'am. 
Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, example, breast cancer or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work with employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Miss Juliet, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members pass away, what will you do? Will you continue to work till finish your contract or you will go back? I will finish my contract, ma'am, then my... Uh, my my salary, I can send my family. Okay, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm Juliet Madaya. I'm 35 years old. Uh, I, I'm a married. I'm 40. I want to earn money. I want to earn money for my family and to my to the future of my family. Okay, Miss Juliet, what do you want to tell to your employer who watching your video? Thank you for your interview, ma'am. Uh, if I will, I will be to select me as, as your maid. I promise I will do my best and I can, I will, I will follow your instruction to give me. Okay, thank you very much, Miss Juliet. We will update your agency if there's any selection made by the employer.